Hello friends, welcome to risingpearl.com. This is series 3 where we are learning a great deal about trigonometry. This is webisode number 22 and friends this webisode is really the conclusion of trigonometry series 3. So because trigonometry is something that you learned for the first time, I wanted to take a moment to recap all the things that we have learned and also to provide you with a placeholder where you can have all the links the URLs for all the videos that we have already covered in this series. So we started off by looking at the introduction of what is trigonometry. We learned about right angled triangles. We learned about what is a trigonometric ratio. We learned that trigonometric ratio is always in the context of an angle and we talk about that for right triangles. Then we went on to learn that this is very important that trigonometric ratio of an angle depends on the angle and not on the length of the sides if the angle remains the same. So we moved on to then learning about how do we solve questions that are related to trigonometric ratios of angles. Then we actually looked into different kinds of questions. We covered that in three parts, part one, part two, and part three. Here are the links URLs for you to click on any one of them and you can uh, go and take a look at all the different types of questions you may be getting on trigonometric ratios of an angle and more importantly how do you go ahead and solve them. Then we looked at trigonometric ratios of some specific angles sometimes also known as standard angles. So trigonometric ratios for 0 degrees, trigonometric ratios for 30 degrees, trigonometric ratios of 45 degrees, 60 degrees and 90 degrees. So these angles are called standard angles and I also mentioned to you that the trigonometric ratios that the, we know that there are six trigonometric ratios and for these angles that is for 0 degrees, 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 60 degrees and 90 degrees that the six trigonometric ratios for each of these angles is something that you would want to learn and remember and memorize just the way you know your tables, tables from 2 through 20 because this is going to be very very useful going forward. Then we looked at and this is precisely where we had a recap of all the trigonometric ratios of these angles we just talked about. Then we learned about how what kind of questions that you may be getting specifically on these trigonometric ratios of these angles and how do we solve them. I think we covered that in two parts, part one and part two, and these are the links. Then we learned about complementary angles and trigonometric ratios of complementary angles. This is very, very important. And this, when we actually looked at this, this expanded our ability to be not only focused on the standard angles 0, 30, 0 degree, 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 60 degree, and 90 degree, but the fact that we can also look at other angles which are complementary. So we looked at them and then we did a couple of videos, two part series or sub series on what kind of questions that we may be getting for trigonometric ratios involving complementary angles. So we did that in part one and part two. And finally friends at the very end we looked at what are trigonometric identities. We learned about three identities. We covered them in two parts. And finally we completed the series uh, by uh, looking at how do we solve questions that come up that are based on trigonometric identities. We did that in the last webisode. So friends, this mark, this webisode marks the completion of series 3 trigonometry. In the next series, we are going to learn about how do we really apply this knowledge. We learned so much about trigonometry, but how and when we apply the knowledge of trigonometry. So the next series will be series number 4. We will look at applications of trigonometry.